Okay, by looking at this window back here, you can see that I've got a green check mark here for both, so both videos encoded fine. So now I can close this window, and I'll go to my folder, and you'll see now I have the venus.avi, but I've also got venus.flv, ducks.mpeg, but I've also got ducks.flv. So now, what do I want to do? Well, I'll tell you what. I'll take both of those videos, new folder, and I'll call it video, and I'll drop both of my FLV files into a video folder. So now I've got my website right here, the flash file, the Swift movie, and I've got a video folder and an images folder which we'll access. So um, now let's try this out. So I go here to flash, and I'm going to um, lower this. Okay, so we have a little more room. All right, I'll pull that up a little bit. Or at least I'll try to. Okay. And I'll close this. All right. And I'll zoom out. And what I'm going to do is I'll show you how this is going to work. We'll go to the video uh, place on the stage. This is my, my movie here, my website. We'll go to the video keyframe. And this is where the video is going to be, right? And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to open up my, I need to drop in the video here. So let's see here, content, what's this? This text here, that's pretty good. Layer 13 has content on it too. Maybe I'll use layer 13. I'll put a uh, keyframe here, Hit uh, select this uh, frame. This is my video uh, keyframe. And I'll just hit F6 to add a keyframe right there. And now I'm going to go into Window, Components. And I'm going to look for my component for my flash video. And I'll open up media, you see there, and then look what this says, video. How about we try that? How about flash video playback? Yay! Just take this, drag it, and drop it on the stage. I can close this, and there is my flash video component. Okay, and it's sized perfectly, I like it. Um, I can go to filters here parameters and let's see here pop this open even more pop that way open parameters and skin that's what I'm going to do so I've selected this video component this is the flash video component from the components library flash video and what I did was now, I'm just trying to reiterate this, selected it, opened up the property window, flipped over to parameters, all right, and what I wanted to do is I scroll down, and I go to the part that says skin here, and I'm going to look for a skin. And it pops open this window, and I'm going to pick a skin for it. How about Mojave External All? So it shows me the play button, the stop button, forward and backward, uh, timeline, a volume, all that stuff. Volume slider, good. All right, I'll click OK. And so now it adds on these playback options, um, stop, the play, all that stuff, which is called the skin. Skin, auto hide, false, all that good stuff. Um, let's see here. And all we have to do is find out how we're going to access the video. Okay. Needs a keyframe to access it. Paper. No, nope, that's not it. Auto play. Auto rewind. Content path. There it is. Content path. Browse for it. And let's see here. Go in here, and go to video, and we'll do with the Venus first. Double click on that. Video forward slash Venus dot FLV. Click OK. And it's going to match the dimensions, which are actually kind of small. So if I wanted to, I could make those dimensions bigger. But now, if I hit Control Enter, you'll see that. Go to video the video is now playing in the player 
I can stop it, I can play, I can do all that stuff. So what I probably will do is size this baby. So I'll get the transform tool and size it accordingly. That way it doesn't look so bad. Okay, better. Still not quite big enough. Almost. Okay, but now if I hit Control Enter, this pops open. Go to video. And there's my video. It's pixelated. It's bigger though. It's fine for right now. This is just the lesson, right? Now what I can do is I can get a little thumbnail of that video and I can get another little thumbnail and I can click or I can just put the title Venus and then I can put another title and then I could switch the videos and all that's going to do is switch the parameter in the video set the um, the uh, uh, the path which is the content path to a different type of content and that's all I would do um, so uh, I'll come back in a later video and show you guys how to do that. But now I've added video to my uh, website. It's external video. It's loading externally. It has a path to get the video. So my file size stays small and I'm pretty good to go. By the way, I still need a um, HTML. So I'm going to go to Publish Settings, go to Formats, HTML, and a Swift. That sounds good. Flash. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, very good. And I'm just going to show you this. I'll hit Publish. Okay. Click OK. And hit uh, File Save. And now, when I go into my folder, you'll see I also have my HTML file. I have the JavaScript, AC Run Active Content JavaScript. You need that file. You need your HTML file, your JS file. Notice here, the Mojave External All Swift. This is the playback button that are loading externally for your video player. So this file, this little Swift movie, is being loaded into your website at runtime. So you need to have this in your folder also, okay, for the whole thing to work. So I need all of these files right here to make my website work. Okay, I hope this is, uh, this is helpful. Uh, if not, you know, you can complete.